All right, let's look at this function here. This is a quadratic function, okay? And I know it's quadratic because it has a square up here. So the general shape of this would be y equals x squared. And we know that that is a smiley face. Okay, if it's positive, it's gonna be a smiley face. And it's gonna look like this. So we have a few things going on here. We have the one-fifth in the front, which is going to be a vertical shrink. We have this minus four, which is going to be a shift four to the right. And we have a plus two, which is going to be a shift two up. Okay, and we'll look at that in a little more detail. They're asking us a bunch of questions here. Find the range. Is it, where is it increasing? Where is it decreasing? Is there a minimum or maximum? And what is the value of that minimum or maximum? And what we need to do is we need to graph it first. Okay, so graphing it first is going to allow us to answer all of those questions. So let me put a little graph down here. All right, and uh, I left a little room, you know, up here towards the top because I know what the graph is going to look like. So if we want to graph y equals x squared, um, our general graph is going to look like this. Okay, it's a parabola. That's how we graph a quadratic. It's going to be like a big, like a big smiley face. And now, uh, let's color code this so we can see what's happening. First, let's show what's happening with the one fifth. Okay, this one fifth is going to squish it down, and it's going to shrink it. So the graph's going to be more like this. All right, and then we have this minus 4, which belongs to the x. So the minus 4 is going to move it 4 horizontally. So we're going to move it on the x-axis. Here's the x-axis. And because it's a minus 4, we go 4 to the right. So 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, so now we are here. Something like that. And then the last thing is this plus 2 right here. Let me get a color for that. Let's do pink. Yeah, plus 2. And that's going to move it vertically, too. So we're going to go 2 up. 1, 2. All right. So actually, let's make this 1, 2, 3, 4. So let's go up 2. All right. So this is really what our graph looks like. Okay, it's the pink one. We used all those other steps to get to get here. Now, if we look at only the pink one, let me erase some of these other ones. Okay, and you can always rewind this video if you want to see how we got there. But if we look only at the pink graph, now we're going to be able to tell all these other things. So let's let's talk about the range. First, they're asking for the range. And the range is asking how high up and down this graph goes. So if I look way down here, do I have do I have any graph down here where it's red? No. And I'm going to keep moving up. Where does my graph start? Boom, right here. Okay, and it's going to start at 2. And do I have graph up here at 3? Yes. Do I have graph at 4? Yes. In fact, this pink graph goes up forever and ever and ever. So it's going to go all the way from 2 up to infinity. So that is my range. My range is 2 to infinity. Okay, interval notation, infinity always gets a parenthesis. And the 2 is going to get a bracket because the graph does actually hit here at 2. All right, now let's talk about where the function is increasing and where it's decreasing. So if I follow this from left to right, and I'm on the graph and I'm like this, am I increasing or decreasing? Okay, going to, I'm decreasing, I'm decreasing, I'm decreasing, boom. I hit this point, and now I start increasing, okay? Increasing, 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 and I'm gonna keep increasing all the way forever. So your increasing is gonna be from here on to the right. Okay, so it actually is going to be 4 
we decrease from negative infinity to 4, and we increase from 4 to infinity. All right, now at this point of 4, are we increasing or decreasing? Eh, kind of neither. So increasing is going to be from 4 to infinity, and I'm not going to include the 4. Decreasing is going to be from negative infinity to 4, and I'm not going to include the 4. Okay, so as I go from left to right, I can see on this graph I'm decreasing, 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 decreasing. Boom. I stop here where my x is 4, and then I am increasing, 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 increasing. All right, is there a minimum or maximum? Well, look at this. This thing goes up forever. Is there a maximum value for this? Is there a place where it stops and you can't go any higher? No. So there is not a maximum. There is going to be a minimum. All right, so this does have a minimum. And I'm going to tell you where that point is. The minimum point is right here. Okay, next they're going to ask you, what is the value of the minimum? Well, the minimum happens at 4. But the value of it is asking you how low does it go. Uh, is my minimum at 4? No. Is it at 3? No. Is it at 2? Yes, it is. Okay, do I go down to 1 on this graph? No, I don't. So the minimum value that I can find on the y-axis is 2. So this has what is the value of the minimum or maximum, and the answer there is 2. All right.